We're doing about two, min two minutes of Musa. So I'm allowing that or not? It's okay if not. If the... Yes, sir. Please start. Oh, there you go. Aaron Zweig from Memphis. From Memphis. Um, okay, so, Arba, so Ar we're up to Arba Madrigas <laughs> Babusha. There's four, there's four levels of Babusha. All right? So, Averis Begoli, Averis So, somebody he's embarrassed to do Averis in, in the open. <laughs> and he does Averis, but he does Averis when he's Pesesa. Hareza Goynev Das Elyon. So, that means he's stealing the Das of the Elyon, meaning Hashem. He's embarrassed from the world, but he's not embarrassed from Hashem. That's terrible. I mean, that's a slap in the face to Hashem, which fits right into the second half of tonight's daf. Right? That Hashem gets upset at us. He's embarrassed from people. And also, he stays away from Averis. Because he's afraid that not because he wouldn't do the Averis. He's afraid that it's somehow people are going to find out. He is going to be embarrassed. On that type of person, we say, right? do, it, do, it, do it, even though you are um, um, even though it's not for the right reasons. If he thinks, if he thinks, and he said, how can I do this thing when I'm, nobody sees me? Meaning he already realizes and he says the reason why I'm not going to do this thing is because I'm going to um, be embarrassed from, from people more than I'm going to be from Hashem. So I better not do it even from Hashem. He stops in Avera. That's a Milo. And Haravi, the fourth level is Mispaish on the Bagala Yuba Sesa. He is embarrassed when he's in front of people, when he's not in front of people, Fnei Hashem Baruch Levad, only, and, and even, meaning his reason he's not doing that very, is because of Hashem. Ain Milo, Lamilo, Lamilo, there's nothing, nothing greater than that. So basically saying, he's saying that there's three levels. The guy that does the Averis, when he, nobody sees him, that's the worst. Second guy is he doesn't do the Averis, but not because he's embarrassed from Hashem. He doesn't do it because he's afraid somebody's going to find out about it. So that's me. The third one is he doesn't do the Averis because he says, how can I embarrass myself in front of Hashem? And the fourth is that he doesn't do Averis because he taka, he taka likes Hashem. I don't know if likes Hashem is the right word, but he, uh, he uh, whatever, he says, oh, Hashem doesn't want me to do this. I'm not going to do it. Right? So then that's, uh, that's, that's the highest level. Okay, sorry for that delay. Okay, now to tonight's daf. Uh, so where do we leave off? Turn her up on him. Last in line. Um, Dago, I think I think we take one quick moment to look at parents with the gloves eating the ribs. There you go. Parents, show everybody the gloves. It's wings. It's wings. The wings. Okay, we're Yeah, we don't do ribs, Aaron. We're not holding it there yet. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, our Mark, <laughs> look at him. He's just play our Mark, you just play doctor. <laughs> I don't know. I'm eating wings too. It doesn't have the same feel if you're not barehanded. I don't understand. Rabaran, you go with this. I'm sorry. I, I can't believe what they're doing. No, <laughs> gloves is it's, seriously. Abicarsus. <laughs> It's like wearing up, you putting you put on a mask so that it doesn't get all over your mouth. Right? <laughs> okay. When you all pick right. up a piece of potato kugel, you also pick it up with gloves. You put on rubber gloves to hold a piece of kugel in your hand. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Very good. Okay, whatever. The new generation of Super Bowl watchers. Fine. Okay. So zog the zog the gemara. Yeah, turn around, bottom. The last, the, the last thin line. Give me a little base. Yeah. So ezu shaita. Who's a shaita? Maybe it says those that eat chicken wings with plastic <laughs> gloves. <laughs> According to some, I guess. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So okay. So ezu shaita. Hayotzi yechidi belayla. If he goes out by himself at night, 
Balon Bebesakvaris, and somebody who sleeps in a Besakvaris, Belila, Rashi points out, Kamakaris Ksuse, and somebody who tears his clothing for no reason. So just before we go weiter, a couple of things. Uh, we paskin like that. Uh, we do paskin that you're not allowed to go out. Oh, I just drove back from Brooklyn. Right? So the answer is, the, the, no, really, it's, it's we, we, don't, we go out, but really it's Brooklyn. Even with lights and everything, now that we have lights? Oh, so that's what we say. So now that we say, now that there's lights and there's people in the streets, so then that's not called... Um, that's not called going out Yechidi Belayla. But theoretically, it could, it could be an issue of Yechidi Belayla. But then what's interesting is that when it comes to a Shimer for a Hasana, that day everybody gets all excited about. Right? I mean, this is a Beferish Gemara. The Shimer for the Hasana, certainly the day of the Hasana, is not brought in Halacha. At least not in the, uh, in the, in the Beferish Halacha. During Sheva Brachas, that's the one that people forget. During Sheva Brachas, uh, Chasana Kala can't, can't go out. That's when they really need the Shimer, during Sheva Brachas. Not, not the day of the wedding. And also, when we should never know, I mean, but just a little Mayid cotton, so you can't, uh, he can't go out for Yachid either, an oval. An oval can't go out for Yachid either. When the, the day of the Hasana, let's say they're getting married before Shkia, mixes the Yom Kukul, it doesn't work, can it work backwards? That what? But we're saying well, there's no Makar that they even need a Shimer the day of the Hasana. No, the day, no, but you said after the Hasana they need. After the Chazan, during Shabbos. So why doesn't it yeah. work backwards? Makes it say Yom Kukula. That what? That they need. The last hour of the need. day, they need it. So they need the whole day. No, we don't say Muxi Yom Kukula. We always go the other way. Why don't we no, go we backwards? Oh, no. no, I hear the thought. I hear it. But uh, no. Is that where it comes from? Why do they need it after? Why do they need it after? They're together. What do you mean? What are you saying? I don't understand. Why do they, why do they need a show after? Uh-huh. Why do they need Shimer? You said no, they're, they're two saying? people. No. They're two no, people. Right. No, if they're going to go out separately. If they, if they're for the chassan, yeah, to but go they're, they're going together. No, but let's say he goes to davening. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, if he, could, right. If he goes to davening, so then, yes, yeah, so she needs a Shimer, and he needs a Shimer. Okay. Yeah. See, Yaakov, I, I went to, I went to Yeshiva to daven Mincha the day after my chassan, okay, and Rosh Hashanah would screw me out. <laughs> yeah, right. That's yeah. That's that's yeah. yeah the Mishnah Brura says that a uh, chassan shouldn't go to Dab, but uh, everybody disagrees with the Mishnah Brura on that. Okay, whatever it is. So a shaita. Now, what's a shaita? What's a negay if a guy's a shaita? What whether you're allowed to call him a dunce? I'm saying what? What's a why? What is? Who cares? Right. So Rashi says, right, that he's potter from mitzvahs and from punishments, and he can't do kinyanim and he can't sell anything. Right, that those are the four things that Rashi says. That's what the definition. That's why you have to know who's a shaita. You're not allowed to buy anything from him. You're not allowed to sell him anything. And he's potter from mitzvahs, and he's also potter from getting punished if he damages. Pashtas, pashtas. Right, could be financial damages he needs to do, but he's not going to get punished. Okay, so how do, so it's he does all these three things. So itma Rav Huna Amar Achiu Kulam Avas Achas. Rav Huna says they have to be done. All at one time. Right? It doesn't mean all at one time. What it means is that it has to be um, the, the same person has to do all three of these things. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to say. So people ask if they're allowed to go to a basic photos at night. I think they, from the way I understand it, they just make a mistake from this type of Gemara that it's only sleeping in a basic forest at night that you're not allowed to do. You're allowed to go visit a basic forest at night. That's right. That's not an issue, at least according to the halacha. It's only sleeping in the basic forest. It's a problem. Okay. So again, Rav Huna says they have to do all three. Rav Yechon and Amar Afilu Ba'achas Mehen. Even if he just does one of them. Right? So now the Gemara asks, and then we'll have to see the Taisus. Hey, Chidami, what's the case? Ida Avadu Terashtos. If he's doing it, Terashtos. Afilu Ba'chad Anami. If he's doing it, you clearly see that the guy's not normal. So why do you need to have him do three things in order to qualify as a shaita? One should be enough. And if he seems to be a normal person, then even if he does all of them, the guy seems to be normal. So Gemara says, really he's doing it and he's acting crazy. 
basic forest, but if he just slept in the basic forest, Amr Kadesh Tishra Lab Ruach Toma, who the covenant, maybe he's he's normal. And he's just um he's just sleeping in the basic forest because he wants to shade him, he wants to know how to deal with the shade. And if he goes out by himself at night, Amr, Amr, Amur, let's say Gedanfri, how do you pronounce it? Gan, Gan, Gandrifas, Achte, right? Some sort of, uh, he was depression. It's a depression that, that grabs him and he needed to go out, right? Um, and Bamakaras Ksusa, and if he tears his clothing, Amr, Bama Shabasu. He's he's uh, a man of thoughts, which means that he's uh, he's absent-minded. So he ended up tearing his clothing. You know, sometimes you sit there, especially like during a Sheva Brachas or whatever, right? And you're, you know, they got nothing to do. So you start tearing anything in sight, the napkins and then the tablecloth and you, then the straw and then the cup, right? Depending on the length of the drosha. Right? So that guy, you're not going to call that guy a shaiti. You might actually call him a smart guy, right? But okay, so that's what he's saying. So Kivan Dav Dinu Lakulu, but once he does all three, Havalahu, now Tom and Aleph now, then he's Kemishanoga Shorva Khamor Vagomal. It's like an ox, right? That that gourd, right? For these above a Kama Sugis, uh, um, a shore and a donkey and a camel. But now Samud Lakhal, and it becomes a mood for all three of them. Right? Because he could theoretically there could be scenarios where he's only a mood for one if he just only gores. If this animal only gores um, one type of animal, right? So, but, but when he does all three, so he's considered across the board um, crazy. Yeah, fine. So Tysus asks, well, maybe he does, but well, he does it three times. Maybe he does it three times of of one of each. Maybe that should be enough to make him a shay. It's one thing you could say he does it once, so he got depressed or he needed to walk outside or he wanted to get the shade, but he does it three times. Then maybe that already should make him a total a total mashugana, right? So the Tosis says, but that's not that's not going to be. Yeah, fine. Okay. So Amar Papa Ishmi Leil Rav Huna. If Rav Huna would have heard, how the Tanya Ezu Shaita Zeham Ma'avid Komash and Noisim Loi, right? Who who's a Shaita? That's somebody who loses everything that's given to him. I don't think Ma'avid means that he loses. I think he means he makes it. He well, it means loses, and he can he also destroys it. Have a hodder, but he would have changed his mind, meaning he would have said that you don't need to do all these three things in order to be class, um, classified as a shaita, as long as you constantly are ruining everything that's given to you, right? So Ibailu said he had a shaita. He have a hodder, but he mekareh ksusa yuda have a hodder. He would have did chayzer from tearing his clothing, the dami loha, because it's similar to this case, right? Tearing your clothing is also just losing things. Hadilma mikulu have a hodder. Maybe he's going back on all of them. He would have said you don't need any of them to be considered a shaita. Just somebody who, who who destroys things is considered a shaita. So take him. So we're not sure exactly what he would have been chazer from. Yeah, fine. Okay. Then we start with uh, um, all the exclusions of the Mishnah. So the Mishnah says, "I call chayav and beria, except for chayre uh, shaita, cotton, tumtum, andreganus, etc., etc." So how do we know all this? So Tana Rabbanon, Zachar, Lahaiti Asanashim. It says in the Pasuk, Zachar, by Ri'ya, and it comes to exclude women. Zachurcha, Yeroya calls, it's the same word. It doesn't say the word Zachar and Zachurcha. The word Zachurcha is inclusive of it, is the word Zachar. So Zachar is coming to exclude women. Zachurcha, Lahaiti Tumtum Adregan. It's your Zachar comes to exclude a Tumtum means that we don't know, he doesn't have any simon, he doesn't have the female organs or the male, he's got nothing, so we, so he's, he's Potter, and Andragonus is where he has both the male and the female, so that's, so we learn that from Zechur Cha that they're Potter, and Kol Zechur Cha, as the rabbi says, the Ketanim, that, that comes to include Ketanim that they're Chayet, so Gemara says, Omar Mar, Zohar is coming to include women, Allah Malik Kro, why do you need a Pasuk for that? Right, the mitzvah of Ria, Eilas Ria, or or going up to the base of Mikdash is obviously time related. It's only three times a year, so a woman's part from that. So why do you need a pasuk to exclude her? If it's a mitzvah man grama, woman a potter. So what answers? It's Ria Ria 
No, because maybe we learn out Xerah Shav of Ria Ria from Hakel. Mala Hala Noshim Chayava is by Hakel women are high because the Pusik says, A Noshim Noshim Vitaf, like we had yesterday. So Afkan Noshim Chayava. So you would think you learned it out to the Oilus Ria, so women are also Chayav. The Mashmalon, that the women are not Chayav. So again, so really they should be Pater Alts, Mrs. Zeshes Mangroma. But we would have thought to learn it out from Mitzvah of Hakel. That it's not. We don't learn it out from Hakel, so and women are Potter. So, yeah. why do I need a, a Pasuk to include Ketanim? Just learn it from Hakel. What, that they're included? Yeah. If the well, Avamina here was that we should include it from, from, from yeah. Xerish Avam from Hakel, so right. we need a Pasuk to exclude Nashim. Right. So, why do I need a Pasuk to include Ketanim here? Kal. Right. Learn it from Hakel. Because Kanim should be Potter. Kanim, no. If I'm learning from Hakel, Kanim should be Chayev anyway. Right, but okay, but we're going to exclude them. You're, we're going to exclude No, we're, we're not. Ketanim. But we're not, we're not, Lamaisa, we're not learning Ria Ria from Hakel. Only for an Ashim, because we have a puzzle. Who's, what do you mean? I'm not so sure. This, this exclusion of Nashim means we don't learn the whole Gzair Shav. That's I think. I'm not I'm not sure, but that's what it now that you're asking your Kasha, it answers that Kasha, so I'll go with it. <laughs> 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 okay, so let's see right. This Omar Mar. Zhurcha Lahitzi Tumtum Vandragonis. Zhurcha excludes a Tumtum Vandragonis. Now Bishlam and Dragonis and Dragonis, it's just you need it's Akadai the Khamina Hoyovi is late Sad Zachris. Since he does, and Andragonus, bottom line is, is a half a man, right? So Lechayev, you would think he should be Chayev. Kamash Valon, that he's Potter. Um, to Barry Bifnayatsu, he's Potter because he's its own Bria. He's not considered a half a man. He's considered a, I don't know, a man, whatever, a half, a half man, half woman, whatever. He's, he's his own Bria. It's not a half man, half woman. It's a whatever. What? I don't think so. Because he's its own Bria. That Bria is Potter. Ela Tumtum Sveikahu. But Tumtum is a suffix. Right? Me it's the Krolem Ute Sveikah. Do you need a Pasuk to be Mamaya to Sveikah? Right? <laughs> Meaning he's a suffix. So why should a suffix be Chayev? The big Kasha on this Gemara. What do you mean? We're saying a Tumtum is a suffix. So a suffix should be Potter. What happened to suffix that rise to Lechumnu? We're saying, oh, he's a suffix. He should well, be. Suffix that writes to Chumra is only on Adam. No, what do you mean? He's a suffix. We don't know. Is this guy a man or a woman? Oh, that's why. Meaning, no, 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 Andragonus. No, no, no. Zev, Zev. Andragonus is not a tumtum, and Andragonus is a bria bifnei atzma. It's a male and a female. There's no suffix there. It's a. <laughs> it's its own <laughs> bria. Is it mechuy ben kriyishma? As, I have no idea if it's going to be Tully totally in. I, I don't see why not in Kriya Shema. I don't see why not. Is it's it a year. I don't know. A pra- no. Pashtus, it's a, I would think not, It's a, but it's a Bria Bifnei So it's not Mechayiv in Tzolim. He's not Mechayiv. He's not Mechayiv to, to do everything. I would think he's part of from uh, Mitzvah Seishon Lengon, but that's not the point. Here, a tumtum is either a male or a female. It's just covered over, so we don't know. So you're right? saying if it's a suffix, so we should go to Chumra and we should, we should... Isn't that a push to think? It's a suffix that rise to the Chumra. A guy comes to you and says, hey, I don't know if I'm a male or a female. Should I go up to the base of Mikdash and Yom? If I say, well... It's a mitzvah deraisa. You're a suffix deraisa. Go up to the base of mikdash. A suffix deraisa is a suffix. What is a suffix? We have no idea if he's a male or a female. We, maybe he's like an animal. He's not a <laughs> But that's an andragonist. This atumtum is that he is something. It's just covered over. Right? Where would he stand? So we're saying we need As a plastic to tell you. Why do you need... What? I'm s- sorry, sorry, sorry. No, this, so there's two points here. One is, you say a suffix that writes a lechumra, so that's why you need a pasuk to say that you're a potter. Right? That's what you would think. The Gemara is not saying that. The Gemara is going the opposite. The Gemara is saying, what do I need a pasuk for? It's a suffix that writes a. So he should be, So the Gemara is assuming that it's a suffix that writes a potter. 
We all go with something that rises to Lechumra. That's what we would say. The Gemara here is saying, no. Why do you need a Pasuk to exclude a Tumtum? He's a Suffolk. And a suffix shouldn't be chai. What do you mean a suffix shouldn't be chai? It's a suffix that rice it. The chumra. Okay, whatever it is, it's a big tumult from this Gemara about this. Anyways, so Gemara is saying, what do you need to exclude him for? So I'm Rabbi Kishabates of Mibachutz. It's talking about a unique case. His baitim are on the outside, meaning the skin is covering over the member, the aver, but it's not covering the baitim. The testicles are outside. Right, so we know that he's a he's a zahar. So that's that's not. not a, a, I was going to say that's not a dead giveaway. We know what he is. Correct. No, we know what he is. But Lamaisi doesn't have an aver. So if he doesn't have an aver, so then he's. They were saying he's Potter. Right. That's that's what that's what it's saying. Maybe, so Omar maybe, Mar. Maybe he does have an aver. It's covered over. And, could and, be, and, but, but could be. He probably does have an aver that's covered over, but the mice. Right, so the Pasik says that a tumtum does not need in this scenario. The Khan saying in this scenario, tumtum doesn't need. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is there some sort of a chilek between Gavar and Khafza? I mean, maybe on, on the when you have a Khafis itself, you have a Suffolk. Maybe you're not, maybe then you go the Khumr, but on the person himself, when it's something about he, about him himself, whether or not he, he even falls into the category of uh, uh, of if he's high or not. Maybe there's some sort of chalak like that. You mean uh, you mean because it's a uh, hair, Gabra Khefza. Uh, okay. everything in Shas is Gabra and Khefza, no? No, okay, so so maybe this <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I hear maybe, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't really uh um I don't really have a good shot on it. I mean, whatever, there's a lot of raid, that's the bottom line. It's a lot of raids. The like is Reshine them how you look at a Suffolk Daraisa. Is Pshan and a Suffolk Daraisa? Gershon, you help me out of it. There's a Suffolk Daraisa. There's a, well, a Pshan and a Suffolk Daraisa that built into the Daraisa, it's a Suffolk. Or did the Rabbanon say that a Suffolk of a Daraisa you got to do? From here, it's Mashma that Minatoira, the Suffolk Daraisa, you putter. Right? From this is Mashma. Yeah. A suffix that rise, so you're putter from automatically built into the derive. Yeah, he's not he's not in the chiyuv. Right. He's a suffix, and the he's not in the chiyuv. Right. So then where do we get so where do we get suffix that rise to look yeah, so from? What is, what is what is the yeah, so it must be the Rabbanon came along and said a suffix that rise is a chumra. That's that's a riot to that shita. Is that the Rashba, Rambam? I don't remember who shita is. One of them, one of them. Okay. Anyways. So I'm Rambam, a I think holds it's the rice. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's fucking, it's, this is mashma, yeah. not like the Rambam. Right. Yeah, so Amar Mar, Kol Zuchur Chal Rabbis is a Ketana. Kol Zuchur comes to include Ketana. But Tran Chutz Mi Chere Shaita Vagon. Didn't we learn in the Mishnah that a Chere Shaita and Cotton don't need to don't need to go up? So what are we talking about here? So that uh, that Teretz is Pashat. Amar Rabbi, like Asha, Kan Bekotten Shigi Lechinach, Kan Bekotten Shalayi Lechinach. One is someone a Cotton that reached the age of Chinuch. One is someone a Cotton that didn't reach the age of Chinuch. If he didn't reach the age of Chinuch, then, chinuch, then he's Potter. Once he got to the age of Chinuch, then he's Chayiv. Right? So, what do you mean? That's a Durabonon. We know that the mitzvah of, of Chinuch is a Durabonon. It is a Durabonon of a cross, and the Pasuk is an Asmachta Ba'alma, but really it's a Durabonon. So, if that's the case, what's the Pasuk coming to tell us? It doesn't have to tell us Chinuch. So look at Acherim for this very fascinating sheet of Acherim. The Tanya, Acherim Aymrim, Hamakamit, somebody who is cleans up the dog, uh, it really means to scrape, right? That he, he cleans up the dog uh, dung, um, and he, and uh, a welder, right? So they, they a smell of a bursi, and there's a leather, a tanner, the Turim and Aria, they're all part of from Ria. From going up to the base of Mikdash. Why? Mishim Shanema calls the Churcha. It says all of your males. Misha Yachalalis in calls the Churcha. Somebody who's able to go up with all of the males. Yatsu Elu Shein and Rialalis in calls the These guys can't because nobody could stand their smell. So therefore, they're Potter. Right? So they that's what this. So. They couldn't make her again. No, they're, they're, well, they, can they? Maybe they can't. Who says they can? They're going to go destroy it for everybody else. Would this be a deterrent for them to do these jobs because they were not going to be able to do it? 
I mean, why right. are they allowed to do these jobs? And then no, so, or, or, or maybe missing. nobody would want to do these jobs now because it's going to make you putter from this and you're not going to do it. You're not allowed to go. Well, so you're, you're asking, are you even allowed to take this job? It's going to put yourself in a matzo, right? That's an interesting point. I never thought, I didn't think about that. That's an interesting point. Why are you allowed to put yourself into this job? Elamai, you are allowed to. And then when the situation comes up, it comes up. So they can't, they can't bring a uh, carbon paste either. I, I imagine what they'll do is they'll have a shliach. No? Who, the Ria, Ria is unique that you have to go be seen in the base of Mikdash. So that they're going to pop. All, the people, else, all the people he knows are coal miners. He lives in West Virginia. That's what he is. His whole family is coal miners. Yeah, so also mean can, how, his kabur is coal miners. Adopt a Korban Pesach. <laughs> now you, now you want to make a fundraiser. Now you're already on to fundraisers. There you go. Right, that's what you'd have to do. I'm sure there'd be plenty of coil in Rabaran that would that would do the shlichus for him in, in Yerushalayim. I, listen, <laughs> no, and I hear what you say. I hear it. It's a good it's point. It's a technical thing that they can't do it. If there was a hundred leather guys coming to the base of English and they could all stand each other's smell because they all smell like that, so then they could, they could go up. No. Why? Because it says they can't. What, what about the rest of Kalah Yisrael? Who's going to smell them? Well, no, I'm saying if they, if they went as a Chabura. Have their own Chabura? Yeah, a Chabura, a, a union of coal miners. So, oh, so now you're saying that we should make a special time for all the smelly people to go. That's what you're saying. Before the next. Maybe. The, third, well, the, third, the, third, the, third, the third cut, which was very small, they can make it for all the smelly fellows. Yeah. Maybe. I'm saying, why should these people be... What, what they didn't do anything wrong, they are Hanami, but that's but they're part of the you're very it, you're very woke, Zev. You're very woke. Woke? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, it doesn't, doesn't mean you're snoring, Zev. It doesn't mean you're not snoring. Um uh Zev, it would, it, would, it would definitely it would stare the Kohanim for sure, who are actually doing all the work. Yeah. Now, the question is, what happens if they take a shower? They say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to wear cologne or I'm going to do this. Then we, do we say let them or we just say... I mean, fuck. I would hope they would do that before Yontif anyway. That's true, but sometimes... I don't know. I don't know. It's a strange thing. So let, let them all shower and let them all go. I think apparently it's more ingrained than that. Not only do they not wear gloves for chicken wings, they don't yeah, wear gloves good. for any of this. <laughs> very good. Okay, that's uh, and you're the young mamish. Okay, very good. I don't know. It's a okay, whatever it is, it is fine. It's the same thing like when the Kahana who had paint, let's say people who have who dirty hands for whatever reason, they weren't allowed to do the kahuna, they weren't allowed to do it. Okay, so yeah, yeah, dirty yeah. is not necessarily the same as smelly, yeah. Let me tell you something. Okay, I don't want to get into a whole hashka for schmooze over here, but the bottom line is it's clear from Hashem that not everybody was meant to be able to do everything. That's all. And unfortunately in America, it's becoming like, if I want to do this, then sticking with the theme, if I want to be an Isha, I can be an Isha. If I want to be an Ish, I can be an Ish. I, you know what I mean? And, and the Yiddish guy doesn't work like that. Not everybody can be a Rebbe. Not everybody can be a Kavir. Not everybody could be a Kayin and not everybody can be a Bechor and whatever. Everybody, there's no one person can do everything. There's no, it just doesn't go. So he might be Potter. He, that's his job. He's, he's because of that. He's Potter. That's it. Doesn't mean he's any worse. I wish you would have told that to a bunch of my Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this Kamara, this Russia, yeah. Tum -tum, not it's even every ish could be an ish. So David's Correct. right. The war right to them to take it. That's, that's a good question. It's a raya that you're not mechuyiv to be pro. How can, a guy asked me today, Taka, now that you remind, a guy asked me today, his boss asked him to come in extra hours. He said he's going to miss Minion. He's going to miss Minion because of it. Yeah? Can he, should he take the extra hours or should he say no? Because of Minion. He's not mechuyiv to say no because of Minion. Right? You could say yes. Now the question is if he would say that, you, that you're not going to have time to daven at all. Then already, I don't know. That I don't know. But here's a job a whole year, and then Mamele is going to be part of it. But it's an interesting question. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of read on that uh, about, uh, yeah. Okay, let's see, Vita. Yeah. yeah. 
<clears throat> no, I mean, Eretz Yisrael, let's say you, you don't want to talk about the Medina now for philosophical reasons, but in the time <laughs> of the Migdush, there's things that had to be done on Shabbos. If you have a country, there's things that have to be done on Shabbos. So people, some people had to work on Shabbos. No? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, we can't do Malacha, but yeah, 100%. Gabai, Gabai's got to work. His work. Anyways, okay, so let's see about it. So, Noshim Avadam Shayna Mishukram. So, women and slaves that were not freed. So, Bishnu. Why do you have to go so far fetched? We know a lot of doctors that have residencies that their rounds come out. They have to do Shabbosim sometimes. So, so that's already a big tumble whether they could do it. Yeah, that's a tumble. Not everybody. No, why did the guy become a doctor? That's not the same. That's not uh, the yeah. same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't. Or you can't, have, you, can't have a con- you can't have a country if without certain things happening. The- yeah, that's that's the whole Shiloh with the nursing homes and the people that own buildings in the Bronx and Manhattan, and they have to they have to have their business open on Shabbos. There's no choice. But that's I where the Shtar Mechira comes into play. So that's where we pull all the sticks. Yeah. So yeah. Anyways, okay. But what so about things that aren't necessary? Like what? Like Kohanim being in Hatzalah. Yeah, well, that's why the big that's the, Kohan, the Kohanim that become doctors is a big problem. Who told them they should become doctors? Yeah, yeah it's a big issue. It's a bit. Most places can say a Kohen cannot become a doctor. Right, but that's what I'm solid. saying is a doctor is one thing. That's your Parnasa Hatzalah. Jesse, grow, Jesse, growing up, here, two, two of the role models that we that I had with Kohanim that were Hatzalah members. Is it depends? Well, but that's, that's it makes it better or worse. I'm saying no, it's, 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 it's a, a hobby. hobby. No, I'm sensing I'm that we're it's getting a, a little hobby. It's not your No, we're getting a whole not at all. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I know. That was there, just when, a when Super Bowl, Jesse, when, admit when, the Super Bowl is not a good time. Remember, they didn't have time. Didn't they used to have the commercial Super Bowl was Bud Light against Budweiser? So now we could yeah. have, you know, the daf. We could have, I don't know, Shoimrim versus Atzala. Yeah, or... there's, there's no against. I'm just asking <laughs> I'm why. Joking. We're joking around. No, I'm but the bottom line is Atzala, I think they don't have to necessarily touch Mason to train. But if it's, if it's a dress, where... could, 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 cadavers was the, real, is the main issue. Right, the cadaver right. is the main issue. Yeah. I know that's why by Turo, they didn't allow Kohanim in the Bayshore campus. They went to the Manhattan campus because we had cadavers and they didn't. That's so interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's why you have a Yiddish Akali. <laughs> okay, so let's divide. So women on Avadam Shana Mishachron. So Bishlam and Nashim Kedamara. We said women are potter, right? Um, because because we said Mr. Sashima Grammar with the Psukim to tell you not. Right? El Avadam Inola. How do you know that El Vadam are potter? So I'm Ravuna Makra, El Paneha Adain Hashem. You're supposed to appear in front of Hashem, the master. It's only somebody who doesn't have a master. One master. This is, comes to exclude somebody else, who, meaning Avodim, who have two masters. So somebody who has two masters is Potter. Now in Hilchas um, Avodim, in Shulchan Aruch, it brings down that it's a real bit the effort to work for somebody as an, as an employer. I couldn't remember where it was. But it's not Pasha to employ yourself and have a boss. Stam. Because then you're an Evet to him, not an Evet to Hashem. I know it's, it's an unbelievable... It's brought in Shulchan Aruch. It's Mamash brought in. I don't know if that would pop to you from Re'i or not. But uh, but that's what the... Whatever. The Gemara is saying, if you have two masters, it's no good. Halam Malik Rav. The Gemara says, why do you need a puzzle with that? Michti, kol mitzvah she'i shechei Right? We all know this rule. Any mitzvah that a woman's potter, Evet chayeva. I'm sorry, she'i shechei a woman's chayev. Evid Chayabah and Evid Chayab. Comets a Shein Haisha Chayabah, Shein Evid Chayabah, meaning an Evid has the same Allah as a woman. The Gomer La La Meisha. So we know La La Meisha. Right? So we know that a woman is Potter. So an Evid's Potter. What do you need a Pasuk for? So Maravina, like Nitzur Ha'ela, to our famous, our favorite subject, Lachetzi Evid, Lachetzi Ben Chayr. It's talking about a slave who's a half, one owner freed him and one owner didn't free him. The Konami, the Katani. Let's be medayik that that's what the mission is talking about. Nashim avadam sheinim mishukrodim. So women and avadam that are not free, my sheinim mishukrodim. What does it mean that they're not free? Dilam sheinim mishukrodim klal. If he's not free at all, this ni avadam stamot. So just say avadam. Ella lav. So what must it be talking about? Sheinim mishukrodim legamri. They're not freed completely. How does that mean? What do you mean he's not freed completely? 
ומאי נינו מי שחצי אבן וחצי בן חיירן. It's talking about somebody who's half free and half an avid, שמה מינו, that he is potter. So חצי אבן וחצי בן חיירן is potter. Okay, uh, then next in the Mishnah is Chigar Suma Chayla Zaki. So those are all potter from going up to the base of Mikdash on Yom Em Toivim. So Torah Bonan, Regolim, where we had this in yesterday's daf, to the, yeah, yesterday's Pratla Balei Kavan. It's coming to exclude somebody who has wood legs, he's potter. Dover Acher, or another Pshat Regolim, Pratla Chigar, Ula Chayla, Ula Suma Lezakin, Ula Shena Yachalalas Beragla. It's coming to exclude all of those. Right, a, a limp, a lame, and a chayla, a blind person, an old person, and somebody who, can't, who just can't walk. So, what exactly is somebody who can't go up with his feet coming to include that wasn't in the previous cases? I mean, you have a chigar and a chayla, sumaza, who, what else? So, marava, la suye, on Tomit Bez now, it's coming to include mefanki, somebody who's a mefunik, right? Dixiv, kisavayu, lirais, lirais. When you came to, to see me, right? Who asked you to come step all over my chatzah? Right? So you see that stepping all over, Rashi says, means that you're coming with your shoes or sandals or crocs or whatever it is that you're coming with. But we learn out from that pasuk that trampling is not allowed in the base of Mikdash. So you have to walk barefoot. So if a guy is a mafunuk and he can't walk barefoot because it disgusts him, again, in Yonim, equivalent of a guy who eats chicken wings with gloves, right? So that guy can't be walking barefoot in the base of Mikdash either because you can just imagine how much fats and blood and guts is all over the floor in the base of Mikdash. So those guys would be potter from... From uh, from going up. What, to... what does this mean, Rav Shiyakim? So what a guy says, I can't wake up before ten o'clock in the morning. That's it. So I don't have to put on tefillin. I don't have to go to daven. I can't. I can't wake up before ten o'clock. There's, I'll there's bring quite a, doc- a few dormitories. I'll bring local, a doctor's. They... I'll bring it. No, I'll do my married men. Well, why is everybody talking? referring to me on tonight's daf? I don't understand. <laughs> I didn't know I was referring to you. Just because Landau, I wore gloves. Landau, 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 I was referring to Because Landau's not on. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Peretz. You're doing a chesed. But anyway, yeah, I, no, so a mafunik has to be, it's a, you're, you're saying an important zav. And a, a mafunik has to be a, a uh, what's the word? Uh, clinical. He has to be a clinical, clinic. meaning yeah. that such a thing is a cl- uh, mashugana. I don't even call him mashugana. He's a mafunik. That's what it is. Oh. Right? I mean, it's not OCD. Yeah. It could be. It's a it's a it's a fine line between OCD and mafunik. Yeah, you have to know. First of all, it could be it's a it's a clinical problem that he has. I guess the same guy that's allowed to take showers by Avelus, right? I mean, everybody loves to throw out, yeah, I'm a mafunik, I'm a mafunik. The nine days, of course, the nine days. I am a mafunik, I'm a mafunik, right? Except you offer him 10 grand not to take a shower for a week, says no problem. I'll be first in line, right? The way I understand my funny is why I tell people to say, how much money is it worth for you to walk barefoot? If the guy says no money in the world, he's a mafunik. If he says uh, there's money, so then you got to do it. I think that's my gather. I made it up. I have no idea if I'm right that that's the gather. I also don't know how much money you have to offer him. But that's what it's saying. Is he mafunik? Is a mafunik? Right? Yeah. So anyway, so because of this pasuk, now we get it to a gadata for like another two blot. Uh, based all from this Pasuk. Again, this Pasuk says that when people are going to come, Hashem is saying, right? This is in the first paragraph. So we'd Yishai. rather have him not go or just wear shoes. No, that's what the Pasuk says in Yeshaya. Don't come into the... Hashem said, "Do I know you want to come see me. Do not trample in my chatzar. And Rashi and Tazas, they both learn that it means don't come with shoes on. You're not allowed to come with shoes. That's what we learn out of this Pasuk. Right, but you're right, Peretz. I would have thought, okay, so go with shoes. Shai. No, uh, no, you can't go with shoes. <coughs> right? I mean, are shoes so, a bigger part of society now than they used to be? Would they, how, I'm saying maybe it would change. Maybe Hashem would change it now. Okay, no, maybe. I'm saying I don't know. Are, are shoes a bigger part of society now than they were before? Um, I don't know. Maybe I, sh- I don't know. You'd have to be a real, you have to have real shoulders to change a pasuk in Yeshaya. 
That's uh, I don't know, and maybe maybe Hashem would change it. <laughs> it could be. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wonder if it'll change. I wonder if it'll change. I think it's more of like a kedusha type thing, right? Moshe Rabbeinu had to take off his shoes by the. So I don't think it was more of. A, I don't think it was like a social thing. It was more of a kedusha. But uh, anyway, so the point is, the pasuk though says, when when you want to come see me, don't trample in my yard. Right again, which we're learning shoes. So because of this pasuk, we're going to learn. We're gonna, it's coming up in a few more lines. First, we have to still do a few more of the Mishnah. There's going to be all sorts of agadat in this in, in like ten more lines. Fine. So tana oral v'atame peturim and aria, and oral and atame are potter from ria. Right. Um, yes, and now what is an okay? Let's first read the Gemara and then we'll go back. So, Vishlam at So, somebody was Tommy, you have to go there and you have to bring it there. Anybody who's part of coming into the base of Mikdash, which obviously somebody Tommy can't, he he has to bring a carbon. If you can't come into the base of Mikdash, then you don't have to bring the carbon. Ela oral minolan. How do we know that an oral is potter? So Hamani Rebbe Kiva he. So it's Rebbe Kiva. The Marmi la oral v'tami. The Marbi la oral katami. That he includes oral to say that oral is the same as a tami. Tani Rebbe Kiva. Oimer ish ish la rabbis esa oral. Ish ish comes to include an oral, and therefore an oral is just like a tami, and he's potter. Now what is an oral? There's a fascinating machleik to say what an oral is. So Rashi says. His, his brothers died because of Mila. What do you call it? Hemophilia? They were hemophiliacs, right? So they died from Mila. So Mamela, he's an oral. Meaning, the point is, if you're an oral, so get a bris. Why are you not believed to get a bris? Get a bris and come to the base of Mikdash, right? So Rashi Cause says... Because he, he might die. Because he might die. Correct. So that, that's a, that is a case of where we're not going to tell him to get a brisk because it's a he might, he might die and finish. So you don't you don't do it, right? Tysus says, um, um, yeah, where is the where is it in the Tysus? Tysus says no. The third wide line of Tysus is unbelievable. He says that machmas hatsar an oral is somebody who's scared because of tsar. According to Rabbeinu Tam, Rabbeinu Tam says that an oral is somebody who's scared to get a bris because he's going to have pain. But a, somebody who loses his brothers does not have a din oral, and he could go to the base of Mikdash. That's she just so Rabbeinu when he Tam. was eight days old, he was afraid of the pain? Already? Oh, very good, doctor. Very good. I was wondering if somebody's going to ask that. Very good, doctor. Right? What happened there? Why didn't he, eight days old, well, he, ta- he was talking it must oh. be that for whatever maybe, maybe he was he's a gear. Maybe he's a gear. That's a good part. Or they're that, talking about places good. like Russia, right? Or, um, or maybe, or maybe his parents didn't give it to him. He was mechuyiv when he got older. And he, and he, yeah. Okay. So whatever it is, right? So the point, the, whatever the scenario would be, but Tosfos holds that if somebody whose brothers died from Mila are not Arelim, you're an Oynes, and you could go to Beis HaMikdash. It's only somebody who doesn't want to get the bris because he's Pitsar. That's similar like we had with Shabbos. It's not that Shabbos is there. You're not, there is no Shabbos for you. Correct, exactly. There is no Chiyav in bris Mila. Right. So the question is, this guy who's scared to get a bris, so why don't we just tie him down and give him a bris and finish? Right? Elamai. He's not mechuyiv to do that, it seems, according to Tysus. According to Tysus, it seems like he's not mechuyiv to do that. Right? Okay. So does that uh, mean these so people in Russia that went, like, to the ends of the earth to find someone that, to give their kid a bris, worrying that they were going to get caught and killed, should not have done that? You know what? You possibly... Because you hear yeah. all these stories about these people that they put their lives on the line to give their kids a bris... Does that mean that they shouldn't have? Yep. It's well, quite, then you have the whole mice with, uh, with Moshe Rabbeinu and his kid. It was shot that the Rabbeinu wanted to kill him. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's, I'm not sure what you say. To say that you, I don't know. To say that they shouldn't have? I don't know. You can say that they shouldn't that have. That gets into Shasa Shmat. It's a different kind of Shaiwa. 
I don't know. Was it really? I guess it was shas hashma. Yeah, I don't know shasa if you have shasa. to be. I don't know if you have to go do a bris shas hashma. You're not allowed to do an iser shas hashma. I'm not in the chuyu. The Rambam holds you in the chuyu to every mitzvah has to be in the to even kumvase. Every mitzvah is sheval tassis. Yeah, even kumvase. Yeah. Right here. I'm not a Pisces. I was venture to say that they were Tinnik uh, Shilishbis. That's true too, but they were not Tinnik Shilishbis enough that they were running all over trying to get. Uh, yeah. Anyways, okay, so let's see. Tone Rabbon. Tome Potter. There's a doctor in town that gave thousands. There's a doctor in town that gave, used to go to Russia in the 70s and 80s. He was a urologist, Dr. Jedrick. And he. And he gave thousands yeah, of yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. It's a big, big thing. Anyways, okay, so Tana Rabbana, Tomei Potter Minaria. Somebody who's Tomei is part of Maria. So Shama Vesim Shom. Right, we just learned this. Kosh Yeshim Babiya, Yeshim Baba. If somebody has to, is allowed to come to the Vesim Mikdash, then he has to bring a carbon to Kosh Yeshim Babiya, Yeshim Baba. If Yechim and Tavaya, I remember Shum Rabbi Yudha, Suma Bachas, May Ena Potter, if the Suma is, um, Blind in one eye, he's potter in aria. We had this uh, yesterday's daf or two days ago's daf. Shenem and yira, yira, yira. Kederach shabal lira is kachba leira is the same way he comes to 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 be seen to see. So he has to come to be seen. Ma ba lira is b'shteino, just like Hashem comes to see with two eyes. Have to be seen. You have two eyes. Some is Potter. Fine. So Rav Huna Kimati Lahai Kra. When he got to the post, Yira Yira, he's somewhere Evid Shirabi Mitzapalay Leroyse. And Evid, who is masters looking to see him on Yom Tif, right? Um, and Yisrachik Mimenu, then Yisrachik Mimenu, then how can he make himself go go far away and say, don't come back? The sick, he said, don't come. Kisavayo Leroyse, Pana. Me bikesh zois me yadchem ramos chazer. Right, the pasuk we just learned. When you come to see me, who asked you to come? Step all over my my ground, right? So, which means that Hashem was not happy with at some point in history was not happy with the yidden coming. Meaning the yidden are looking forward a whole year, and Hashem's looking forward to have the yidden. And they and and I don't want you to cry because they were sad. Fine. Rav Kimati like Rav Bachi. Rav Huna got to a different. It says the Zavach to Shlomim v'Achal to Shlom. You should shlech. You should shecht Shlomim, and then you should eat them there. Eved Shiravim Mitzapel Lechol Al Shulchanay. So an Eved who his master wants him to come eat by his table. He's Bachim Menu, and Hindi's going to make himself far away to Siv Lama Li Rives v'Chechem Yoyim and Hashem. Why do I need all your your carbonus? Um, Hashem said in Yeshaya. Right. These are all psukim and nach about when Hashem was unhappy with Kla So it's sad. Rabbi Lazar, Kimati like Rabbi Ochi, when he got to this pasuk, right? Veloi yochlu echav laanes eisik kinevalu mipanu. By Yosef at Tzadik, right? So when his brother, when he Yosef, uh, I'm Yosef, is my father still alive, right? So his brothers couldn't say anything because they were they were just scared. Right, the musr of a basar can make you so scared that you can't makes you speechless. Right, Hashem is going to get upset at us, then for sure that's going to make us speechless. Right, Rabbi Loza, when he got to this pasuk, he cried. It says, "Why are you agitating me?" To get to raise to what he called to Laloisi to graze me out of the, the grave. This is talking about when Shoal was desperate to know what to do, right? Against the uh, Plishtim. He had no idea what to do. So what he did is he went to one of these uh one of those ladies that can can bring the dead out of the, the ground and ask Shmuel what to do. So Shmuel answered and said, What are you doing this to me for? So Shmuel Atzadik, who was Atzadik, he was scared of the din. For sure, should be scared of the din. Shmuel, my he, what is this thing about Shmuel being scared of the din? Right. So the woman told 
to, uh, told Shaul, El Shaul, Elakim, um, Raisi Oilim. I, I saw a, um, um, somebody, uh, a hush of a person coming out of the ground. Oilim tre mashma. So Oilim is mashma two, it's plural. Chad Shmuel, one was Shmuel ve'idach, and what was the other one? The other Shmuel ve'asi le'moshe ba'adei. He went and he brought he went and brought Moshe with him. Amar lei, right? So Shmuel told Moshe, "Dilma chas v'shom ludinim misaminim." Why are they raising me out of my grave? Maybe they want to take me to din. So kum ba'adei, Moshe, please come stand with me. The lekam milsa, the chasav to the raisa, the 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 leki amtia. There's nothing that you wrote in the Torah that I didn't keep. So you're gonna be my lawyer. Right, so Shmuel, when this lady raised Shmuel up out of his great grave, and Shmuel was scared that he's going to din, so he went and he got Moshe Rabbeinu, and Moshe was his lawyer. So you see, Shmuel was scared of din. So Shmuel was scared of din. How much more? So we have to be scared of din. So that's what Rebbe Loza cried. That's about all. That's what the Gemara is saying. Shad in that Gemara, I have no idea. Right, uh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Rav Ami, Kimati Lahaikar, Rav Ami, when he got to this passage, Bachi, he cried, Yitain Ba'afar Piyu, Ula Yesh Tikva. He should put, this is in uh, Eicha, right? He put his, he was eating dirt, right? That's what it means. He, he put dirt into his mouth, Ula, and then maybe Yesh Tikva. Right? Meaning somebody has to go, has to be so bad that he has to eat dirt, and then only maybe there's going to be hope for him. Omar, he says, Kula, hi. He has to do all this that he has to eat dirt. In order to survive, Ulai, and then only maybe will he be accepted. So that's a, a thing to cry about. Ravami Kimati Lai Krabachi cried, Bikshu Tzedek, Bikshu Anova, Ulai Tistru Biyoim Afashem. Look out for, for Anova and, uh, um, and, and Tzidkis, and maybe you're going to be hidden when Hashem gets angry. Omar Kula Haiva Ulai, so you're being a Tzadik and you're being an Anova, and then maybe you're going to be hidden? Right? Fine. Ravasi kimati lai kro bachi. He he cried. Sinu rav evu tay vatzigu b'shar mishpat ula yechna nashem alikets vakas. Right. You should hate bad things and lo- love good things, and make make do shara mishpat, make good judgment, and then Hashem ula Hashem will be happy with you. So again, kule hai. You're doing all these things. You're hating bad. You're loving good. You're setting up what they din. Kulei have ulai all this and then maybe just ulai. Fine. Rabbi Yosef Kimati lai kro bachi. When he got to this pasuk, he cried. Beyesh nispe beloy mishpat. Right? There's somebody who can be gathered without judgment. So Amar miika dalza beloy zmani. That that pasuk sounds like somebody could die when it's not his time. She so says, is it possible that somebody could die without it being his proper time? In yes, he says in kihoda rabbi barabai like what rabbi barabai said. Chavashchiach. He, like we had in the end of my cotton, the Gedolim were seemed to have been hanging out with the Malach HaMavis, right? I mean, whatever. So that's, that's um, and Rab, so the Malach HaMavis would tell Rabibi all sorts of stories, right? That's what Taisu says, right? He's telling him stories that what happened with the Malach HaMavis. So he said to the Shluk, meaning the Malach Mavis said to Shliach, Zil Aisidi Miriam Magad Laseir Nashaya. Go bring me Miriam, who the she's the hairdresser. She grow she grows a braids women's hair. Also Aisila Miriam Magad Dardiki, right? So but by mistake, he brought the wrong Miriam, not Magad Laseir. He messed up and he brought the Magad Dardiki, who brings up kids, right? The school teacher. Amar lei, so he said, I'm not Miriam Magad the Sayer Nishaya Amar Lach. I said I need the woman that's the hairdresser, not the teacher. Amar lei, he hachi yadre. If that's the case, so the Malach Mavis said, I'll bring them, I'll, I'll put her back. Amar lei, hoyel vaisisa lehavi leminyana. No, once I brought her, so she's here. Let her be part of the count. Leminyana means the count, meaning let her be dead. So you see that somebody can be taken from this world um, um, by mistake. So. So, so Rabibi said, so how, how were you able to take her? So, and that, that was a mistake. So we say that, that we say that that's Minas Shemayim, like that's a, that's a, we're okay with that. It was clearly that was a mistake. It was a mistake. So that's what we're going to, that's what we're bringing from the Gemara. So how he's asking, how were you able to take her? The Pasuk says, you can't take people too early. So he says, so how were you able to do it? So he says, why? Because sometimes you can't take, that's what we're going to say now. 
So Habas Nikita Misara Biyada, what she was she was holding this metal rod that you you know you you do the fire with. Habas Koshagra and she was sticking it out on Tamar Aleph now. U Mechari Tanura and she was you know digging the coals in the Tanur. Yeah, Shaklata Vanach the Gaba the Kara and then what happened was that she took out this metal pole, right, and then it went on her foot. Vanach the Gaba the Kara went on the the top of her foot. Kodcha, so then she got burnt. Ve'isramaza, now she had bad luck. So that's what happened. Then Vaisis, and then I was able to bring her. All right, once she started with bad luck, then I was able to get her. So Amalei Rabbi Barbaya, Islechu Rishusa Lemevro, do you have permission to do this? Amalei, he said, V'loi Ksiv, doesn't it say, V'yesh Nisva B'loi Mishpat? There's, there's uh, somebody who could, um, he's asking, is there such a thing that uh, you can gather somebody without mishpat. So Amr Alei, so Rabbi told him back, it has to be that generation comes and a generation goes. So meaning you can't take one generation before the other. See, the Malachim was, was reading the positive and saying like saying it like, yeah, the Pasuk says, Yesh nisva beloy mishpat. you could gather somebody without mishpat. That's the way he was reading the Pasuk. And he said back, so Rabbi Rab, Rab, said back to him, but it says, Dor Meaning the new door can't come till the old door is finished. So Omar, Terina Luano, right? Um, so I, he says, I take these. Uh, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them to the Shomer Amesim, right? And the Malu Lehu Ladara until meaning, it's sort of like the Neshama goes into limbo, and it's not considered like it's taken. It goes into this uh, um, like holding cell. Until that whole door is finished, and then I bring them to to Duma. All right, who that? That's the one who was in charge of the dead. I wonder if the restaurant knows that the what they named their restaurant. So Amar Le, so said Saif Saif, Shania Maya good. So now she was supposed to be in this world, say, for fifty years, and she was only in this world for forty years. So what's with all those years? Right, they they were meant to be on this world. For those years, Omar e ikut sovra mirabon and the Mavra Bamile, if there's a Talmud Chacham who is Rashi says Mavra Mila means he's Mavra al Midaisa, my Sifna Luhu, I'm gonna add on her years onto his Bavi Khalufe, right? And then that's he's considered like we swap him out for her. So here her years go on to him, and then everything everything works. So bottom line is, is it seems like there are scenarios where you can take somebody prematurely, but it all has to be worked out. It all has to be worked out. Has to everything, all the ducks have to fall into a row in order for it to happen. Okay. I got enough to everybody and uh see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Good night. Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna go uh yeah. All right. Malachim, Paris, was my kids still by you, Paris? Yeah, they're all by me. They just came in, mush and mush. What are you saying? Uh, what are you saying, uh, Gershon? The, the Malachim Avis that was telling your Bibi Barabaya this mice. When was he supposed to get Miriam the Godless Sayer Nishayim? Before or after Yashka became something? Why didn't your Bibi Barabai have a bigger problem? Yeah. Forget about the one that he took, the one that he didn't take. Should have taken. What do I mean? Who should he have taken? Yashka's mother. They just forgot about her? Oh, you mean we could have. We're being very I lit this year. We're dealing with the second woman. What about the first one? Imagine right. the damage you could have saved by taking her. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I'm going to stop because I ate exactly four crackers all day today and I'm starving. <laughs> I hear you. That's not good. Yeah. Also. <laughs> all right. Okay. Zag is it.